What's going on guys, today in this video I'm going to be going over the features and specs of this 2022 Nissan Versa S with the manual transmission. I'll be going over some of the other trim models too, but this video is specifically for the S model with the manual transmission, so let's get into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to go over the paint options you have with the S model. Um, there's some colors available in the higher trims, but these are the only options for the S model. So I'm going to look at my idiot sheet here on my phone. So it looks like you can get electric blue metallic. That's a beautiful color, by the way. You can get super black, gun metallic gray, which that's the color of my car. Brilliant silver metallic and fresh powder, which is the white color. So that's the only options you have for the S model. I know you can get the red and the SR and maybe the SV trim, but that's the only option you have for the S model. As for the interior, the only option for the car is charcoal cloth with the black and charcoal color interior the seats are actually pretty nice they hold me in pretty good pretty comfortable for what they are so that's the only option for this model and i think that's the only option period for this car but i might be wrong on that so the only transmission options in this car is either a five-speed manual transmission and that's what my car is and i personally really love it it shifts great or you can get a cvt transmission i do not like cvt so i personally wouldn't do that but you probably will get better gas mileage with the CVT. All right, I'm gonna pop the hood and then we'll get into the specs of the engine. Okay, so this 1.6 liter engine puts out 122 horsepower and 114 foot-pounds of torque. Now, it's not a lot, don't get me wrong, it's not a lot, but this car does not weigh a lot either, so you gotta take that into consideration. It's not terribly slow, but it's not a Mustang either. It's a nice, fun car to get around, and if you like the five-speed manual, it's fun. It's definitely fun around curves and going up mountains and all that good stuff, so not bad. And it's also an economy car, so don't expect crazy performance. This is not a Mustang, this is not a Camaro, this is not a Porsche, so keep that into consideration. 122 horsepower for a car that weighs, let's see how much it weighs. I know I wrote this down somewhere. Yeah, so 122 horsepower for a car that weighs 2,600 pounds isn't that bad. So according to Nissan, this car with the five-speed gets 27 miles per gallon city, 35 miles per gallon highway, 30 combined. In my opinion, if you drive it very conservatively, you can get more gas mileage than that. But that's just probably a rough estimate. I think I averaged 35. I'll have to double check that later on, but I really just drive country roads with like max speed limit of 55 miles per hour, so 35 isn't too bad, especially for a car that costs this little. Okay, so the only models you can get in this car is an S, an SV, and an SR. Now you can only get the manual transmission in the S model, which is the base model, and I think the SV is a step up. I don't know what they all include. And then after the SV, it's the SR, and I know those have better wheels, which a lot better wheels and they're also bigger so if you want a manual transmission you have to get the base model s and if you want the wheels from the sr i guess you can buy them and put them on yourself but if you're just trying to get an economy car wheels really don't matter all right guys so let's go over some features here this car does have automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection i think there is a sensor up here where your rear view mirror is so that's pretty cool you also have lane departure warning, so if you go over into the other lane, it will vibrate your steering wheel and then have a light come up on the dash, so that's pretty cool. All right guys, I'm gonna go over the lane departure warning real quick, once I have an opening here on the road. I'm gonna go over the double yellow lines and there should be a warning that comes up on the dash and it's gonna vibrate my steering wheel. So let's try it over here on this line right here. You see that warning on my dash and it also vibrates so that's really cool and I like that feature a lot it has automatic high beams so when you turn on automatic high beams it will detect a car's headlights and turn the high beams off for you and then when it no longer det detects that car it'll turn them back on for you that's a pretty cool feature and it actually works pretty well all right guys it's not dark so I can't test the automatic high beams but if your automatic high beams are set on 
it would detect that truck right there as headlights and it would turn your high beams off for you. And when it detects that there's no more cars incoming, your high beams would turn back on. This is a great feature for people that forget that their high beams are on. So I wanted to go over that with you guys. Pretty cool feature. This car also has rear automatic braking. So it will detect if you're about to back into something and it should brake for you. I think that's what it's, it's pretty much saying. I haven't tested this personally with the manual transmission, but that's what Nissan says. All right, guys, I'm gonna try this automatic rear braking. I set a hydraulic container out there. So let's see if it'll brake for us. I know it'll ding at us or beep at us. Let's see if it'll stop for us. It's not even detecting that. Well, it's not tall enough. Let me try something else. <laughs> I set my tripod back there next to the container, so hopefully that'll work a little bit better. Let's see if it'll stop for us. Really, it's, it's not detecting that. I'll let you try again, Nissan. It's not detecting it, man. What do I gotta do, back into my house? <laughs> I'm gonna try something else. All right, I think I'm gonna try backing into that metal container. I really don't wanna risk it for the biscuit, but I'm, I'm actually really interested to see if this automatic braking, rear braking works with the manual transmission. I can't see it on my screen, there it goes. I'm gonna go real slow. Come on, Nissan. Come on, Nissan, detect it. All right. Oh, it did! Oh my god, it actually did it! Wow, it really braked hard. I wonder if it'll stall you out. I guess it would if you're if you let off the clutch. Wow. I'm really impressed by that guys. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. It'd probably stall you out, but it sure would prevent your car from getting dinged up. This car does have a carbon fiber style rear diffuser. It's obviously not real carbon fiber, but it looks pretty cool. All right, guys, let's go over some interior features here. This car does have a seven inch touchscreen display. I do like that it's pretty smooth. It's not the best looking screen I've ever seen, but you know, you get what you pay for. Pretty good stuff, pretty responsive. Not bad at all. So this car does have Bluetooth, obviously. It has hands-free calling. So if you need to make calls, you can without being on your phone. This car does have electric power steering, so it's very effortless and very smooth. I like that a lot. Probably the most smooth electric power steering I've ever felt. This car does have power mirrors, which is pretty cool. Pretty normal, those have been around for a very long time. Obviously, all the windows come down electrically. That's pretty normal as well, nothing new. And your driver's side is automatic. So let's look at the steering wheel controls. You got your volume, call, your source, your cruise control. So all that is also very smooth and works great. I also believe this car has intelligent collision warning because when I got really close to a car, not really close, I was like 10, 15 feet away, they were turning, I was slowing down. Uh, I got an alert on the dash, so I think that's what that meant. Also, this wheel telescopes so I can push it in or bring it out, and then it locks. You can obviously go up and down with it. This is my position though. I like it to be all the way out and all the way low, or a little higher, right there. And it locks in and you're good to go. So that's really awesome. That's the first car I've ever owned that has telescoping steering wheel. This car does have hill start assist and I will go over that. 
Uh, that's a really cool feature, especially for the manual transmission. That is very handy, especially if you're a newer driver. All right, guys, I'm going to go over this hill start assist real quick. I can test this on my driveway right here because I have a little bit of an incline right here. So I'm going to go up about halfway right here. And we're going to pretend this is a hill on a normal road. So clutch in. Now, if you're in a normal manual car without hill start assist, and your clutch pedal's in and you release the brake, you're gonna start rolling back immediately. See, it took three seconds, so it held it for me. So that gives me time to let out my clutch, give it gas, and start going. Now I am on gravel, so I'm probably gonna spin some wheels right here, but we'll test it out. All right, let's test it out. My foot's on the brake, I released the brake. I knew I was gonna spin wheels right there. On a normal road, you wouldn't spin wheels like that unless it was really wet, but that's a really cool feature and I really love that. Especially if you're a new driver, that's gonna help you out so much. So that's pretty much what Hill Start Assist does. It pretty much holds the car for three seconds before it starts rolling back. Really cool feature. Now the capacity of this car's gas tank is 10.8 gallons. Now it is very, very good on gas. So 11 gallons almost will get you pretty far depending on how hard you drive, obviously. All right, let's pop this trunk and go over the space in the back. That was the hood, whoops. That's where the trunk button is. <laughs> All right, let's pop this thing. Let me clear out my junk in here. So that's not a bad amount of room for a really small car. That's, you could fit some golf clubs in there probably. You do have a spare donut in the back with a jack and some tools. So that right there, that's a pretty good amount of room. So this is 14.7 cubic feet of cargo capacity. That's pretty good for a small car. Like I said, this car does weigh 2,600 pounds. So that 122 horsepower probably feels a little bit more than 122 because it's so light. very quiet engine it is a cheap car so there's no beauty covers or any of that stuff it's pretty simple and pretty straight to the point it does have the v-motion grill so that's pretty cool now this car does only seat five people that's not the most room ever but if you had to carry five people you definitely can all right guys this car obviously has Bluetooth so let's test out this sound system. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're responsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, though. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. Who the f are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move. I'm gonna make it soon. And I'll do it because it's what I wanna fucking do. Because all these opinions and all these positions, they come in in millions. They block in your vision. But Sound, that sounds pretty darn good for a car that's you know a base model and a car that's just overall not expensive compared to other cars on the market this is one of the cheapest cars you can buy I'm pretty sure so anyway guys I've never done a video like this so if you did enjoy it let me know down in the comment section down below leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't already turn on those post notifications so you get a notification every time I upload a video Follow me on Snapchat and TikTok at DBAKEN with two N's. If you want to become a channel member, check that out down below. And let me know any feedback you guys have. I sure do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.